we should begin with our understanding of what we mean by the term AI powered. Because the first thing that I would say is our understanding. When I hear AI powered, I think it means different things to different people. And I think it also means different things to varied organizations. So even if an organization may have defined it for themselves, it doesn't mean that it's translatable to another organization, even within the same industry or the same sector. In fact, you know, I would go forget AI powered for a minute. I would even go to AI itself. That also doesn't have any common definitions. So if you Google the word AI, you know, one of the things that I commonly have is a list of definitions that anyone who Googles can, uh, can actually come across. And if I may, I'm just going to cite some of these mm -hmm. uh, definitions. As you were talking, I just quickly Googled some, some things. So I'll just read some of these out. This is right on the, on the web. It says, artificial intelligence refers to the ability of machines to understand the world around them, learn and make decisions in a similar way to the human brain. Thanks to AI, machines are getting smarter every day. There's another one. It refers to the simulation or approximation of human intelligence in machines, or it, it's the ability of a digital computer or computer-controlled robots to perform tasks, right? Um, heterogeneous technologies that weakly replicate some of the things people do, right? So, I mean, just in one singular stroke, you can get various definitions and understanding of what AI and what AI powered means. I think the second thing is what are the necessary conditions? So, you know, one of the things that I do is I, when I am thinking about AI and AI powered, similar to, you know, I'm sure you've heard, we are a data driven organization. I really don't know what that means. I'm not trying to be facetious, but I really don't know what that means because it <laughs> may mean something to someone else. So I want to understand what are the necessary and sufficient conditions for something to be considered AI powered, right? To my knowledge, there is no such consensus. I could be wrong. I'd like to be proven wrong. The third thing when you ask that is about utilizing AI, right? So it's not about the utility of AI. No one's asking about weigh the pros and cons of what AI can and cannot do for you. I'm sure during the course of this conversation, we'll talk about that too. But the third thing is about the utilization of AI-powered technology and tools within your organization. What does that mean to you? So if you look at different industries, for example, we are in 19 industries, from healthcare to retail to life sciences, manufacturing, you name it, we are in it, banking. And we are across the globe. We are in North America, EMEA, LATAM, APAC, everywhere. But if you talk to different industries, again, you're going to have something where they'll say it's a weak AI. It's simplistic, it's single task, and that's what we are used to, and it gives us what we need versus what strong AI looks like, right? And so something that's able to handle complex uh, issues, and so you can get into cognitive computing or things like that, where you know, you'll find certain industries, uh, they're not necessarily heavily regulated, but you'll find them more in that sphere, especially in healthcare, but right? you'll, you'll find uh, things like that. So sometimes it's really, really difficult to distinguish which products are truly what we would define as AI powered tools. Now, this is Sue speaking. I, uh, my, it's my opinion, which is going to be very subjective. And just between the three of us, I'm sure we'll not only have a different um, understanding, but we'll also probably have different Venn diagrams of what we would consider to be AI powered technology and tools. Now, given that most of, at least between the three of us, some of us have been in the space, um, have had formal training or informal training. Perhaps we are more at an advantage of at least a level of understanding. But at the end of the day, AI-powered tools are not to be consumed only by those who happen to be in that field. AI-powered tools and technology are there to be consumed by everybody within the enterprise. Listen to Between Data and Risk Podcast. 